Right, this is the exciting story of how uh, how I worked through a load of children's books, eventually getting to read sort of grown-up books in Welsh. <coughs> About a year and a half ago I went to Wales, North Wales, and I went into lots of junk shops and bookshops and got very cheaply a lot of, a lot of kids' books really. This is one of the first one I got. This was probably about 20p from a, a charity shop. Um, and as you can see, it's a very simple one. It's, it's all about uh, what you can see. And uh, just very simple sentences, even, even an English translation look. He sees a bee and a cat and all that sort of thing. Cunningham and the Scotin. Here we are, it's a board book. Probably it's only got about 30 or 40 words in the whole thing. At the back with a little quiz look. <laughs> Beth Wady, what do you see? And you can have a little quiz to test what you've done. Reading age at the back, very high. <laughs> That's an excellent little book, very cheap. Good way to start, makes you feel confident. Here's another lovely board book. This is Amsa Quare Quare Grundir Gath. Now this is this is um, this is Poppycat by Laura Jones really, and for some reason in Welsh they've called it Gurundia Cat, which means which means sort of um, purry cat. So they've changed the name slightly in Welsh. Time to play, and so on. And again, this is a very simple board book, not many pages, not many words, English translation, and uh, this is also uh, very colourful and fun to look at easy to read. Touchy-feely in parts look, little materials in the book. Lovely. It's important, I think, when you're beginning with any language really, to read dead simple things that are fun to read and colourful and the pictures help you see what's going on. It's ideal. Luckily I like reading stupid kids books anyway, so it doesn't matter. Again, huge jump on the back, much, much higher reading age on the back there. That was, that was again, that was bought in Bangor, I think, or Patelli, something like that. Here's another good one. There's an elephant here called Elved, and this is all about the weather. Again, very, very simple stuff. Here we are. Maybe slightly longer sentences, I don't know. But again, you get an English translation look. And he sees various different sorts of weather. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, uh, we've got lots of onomatopoeia here, splish, splash, blosh, not too difficult to translate. Brr, hoosh, ow, so it's like. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff there. Very simple words. Patchwork elephant. Okay, that's the very, that's the very simplest sort of stuff. Now then I went on to read some sort of big up. This is another one I read. Uh, this, this cost 50p. I bought this one in Bangor, I think, on a very wet day indeed. It's about a little kid's first day at school, which doesn't want to go. Uh, it's by Becky Edwards, and it's drawings by Anthony Flintoff there. A lot of Flintoff in my house, I suppose. Here we go. She's been dragged to school, look, first day at school. And uh, now this, as you see, it's a definite step forward. Lovely big picture still, so you can see what's going on if you get a bit stuck. Um, but there's more words. Longer sentences. It's excellent fun. She really enjoys it when she's got there. She doesn't want to go home, as you'll see later on. Lots of different vocabulary being brought in here. Jumping, uh, running all around, running all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And look, but she doesn't want to go home. She doesn't want to go home. Look, when her mother comes back. Isn't that, isn't that a smashing book, eh? Great fun to read. Oh dear. There we are. That's a smashing book. Here's, a, here's another one. Another similar style of book, really. Um, this is about a lad called Owen who has, has a lot of fun here with his various toys. Here we go. Slightly smaller print, so that makes it a bit more difficult. There he is, he's looking around, there's his dinosaurs, he, he likes dinosaurs and model animals and things. Significant jump up in vocabulary here. So I've just read my way through this, looking at the pictures to see what was going on to make sure I was getting it right. And so you get, you get feedback. When you're living a long way away from Wales you don't get much feedback at all, do you? So 
here we are. Lots of, lots of good words here. Uh, Stegosaurus. And this is obviously written to appeal to, to kids who like dinosaurs and the like. I've got another similar one somewhere, but I couldn't find it to show you here. Here we are, look. There's, there's more in the series, look. It's always a good thing. If you like a book, it's always nice to see there's more. Okay, here we are. <laughs> a massive jump to grown-up writing at the back. Okay, so the reading age of that book, that book, I suppose, reading age is probably about five or six. I don't know, something like that. I wonder if there are tests for reading ages of, in Welsh. Now, this is one of my absolute... Fa this is the one I, wrote, I read next. Two quid this cost. That was from Patheli, I think. Perhaps a bit posher there. Look at this. <laughs> this is an excellent story. And it's just full of nice things, this. At the front, look, it's got this whole page of, of little recipes as to how to make things. It's a, it's a, it's a brilliant little book. There's lots of imperatives, look. Golchuch. Uh, Gofonuch. Uh, Devaniduch, Paiduch, Paiduch, Gosoduch, Rauch, Rauch, Uchwaneguch. Because that's what you do when you're cooking. Lots of imperatives. Here we go. Now look at this look. Almost paragraphs there. You can see now, look, I've started to. That seems to be the phone. I'd better answer it. <laughs> 